We're going to continue with our investigation of troubleshooting AC side faults with looking at what it might be like if we had a utility side failure. So let's check that out. We begin by looking at our question, what operating conditions are indicated. No lights, green light blinking, green light steady, or red light. We take a look at our display, and indeed we see that we have no display at all and no lights at all. So back to our choices, that indicates AC side fault, no lights, AC side fault. So that's our problem. We've got no AC power. Let's click on that and proceed. We're teleported over to the AC disconnect and we're asked, is the AC disconnect handle on or up? And indeed the handle is up and on. So that's not the problem. So is the AC disconnect handle on? The answer is yes. Then we're transported to the main service panel and we're asked to open the panel door. So we touch on that to open up the cover. And we're asked to look and see, is the solar breaker tripped off? And by examining it, we can see that the breaker is way to the left. That means it's on. The breaker looks on to me. So that's not the problem. So is the breaker tripped? The answer is no. And we also look at the main breaker. And we're asked to look and see, is the main breaker tripped off? Is it slightly to the right or to the right? And indeed, it's fully to the left, which means that breaker is fully on. So is the main breaker trip? The answer is no. So that's not the problem. So that's curious. We have to keep going. So now what we're asked to do is remove the inside panel cover. So we touch on that to remove the protective cover from the main service panel. And now we actually do some troubleshooting with our multimeter. So I can press on the display here and kind of move it around wherever I want it to be on my screen. I'm going to put it here on the left and let go. The device comes up already set for you with the dial set to AC volts because that's what we want to measure now is voltage on the AC side. And we're asked to check is there 240 volts AC present on the utility wires L1 and L2. So let's take our probes. I'm going to take my black probe here for negative and I'm going to take it here put it on the black wire see how I move it in place it gets there. I'm going to let go leave that there on that negative wire. Then I'm going to take my positive probe and I'm going to put it on the positive. And when I do that, I get zero. Okay, that's not right. <laughs> that's supposed to be 240 volts AC from the utility. But at this point, I'm getting zero volts feeding into my main breaker. Okay, that's wrong. That means I have a problem on the utility side. So is there AC voltage present? The answer is no. Okay, fault found. You have to contact the utility company to restore power. So what's going on here is that you may not have any problem at all with your solar system, but there's some problem with the utility system. So what we're told to do is touch on the breaker and it brings up a call to action here. It says call the utility company. And when I do that, it says congratulations, you've fixed the installation. At least you've taken the proper action now to get the utility involved in restoring your power. So this is a curious type of a fault where you don't have to chase down your tail on your system, there's something wrong on the utility side. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.